Good morning and welcome to The Art of Composition. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. I thought I would look at another Juliet Aristides painting. I think I have this one in my user's guide. And I think I'm going to break it down a little bit further today because you have a lot of dominant lines going on here. You have elements that are really strong and of course you got the diagonal lines coming in here with the arms then you have horizontal lines running through here like that so let me see what I can find when I lay the armature on top of that and like I said I might take it a little bit further today alright so the same painting with the armature I'm going to just drop a few more lines to frame a few elements in. Remember, wherever you have, again, two or more diagonal lines intersect, you can drop a horizontal and vertical when I frame in the bottom of that, frame at that point. But also notice with the vertical, the, the center vertical, it frames in the edge of the print behind her, and then the center horizontal frames in the bottom. Also notice how these diagonal lines are playing and the arms and this one's coming down here is following that path but again there's dominant horizontal lines not dominant but there's horizontal lines being played out here they're pretty obvious right this is a very important area right in here but if I drop a vertical here where these lines intersect I'm framing in side of her face and if I bring some of these lines over I believe it's this one and I drop a vertical where this intersects at that point I bring it up and then the intersecting lines at that point frame in the top of the drawing behind her but also notice here in the print behind her on this side, the diagonal lines are being played out here as well. These two diagonal lines are being played out at that point. So I'm going to change this to yellow and solidify it and point these things out so it stands clear. Remember, the print behind her is being framed in at that point. You also have these horizontal lines here. And like I said, they're important. But you also have these diagonal lines in the arm, giving you a pathway down. Same on this side as well. Starts here, but it comes down at this point right here. Follows the arms at that point. We have these verticals framing in the side of the face. there and then you're also framing the top of her head at that point with these intersecting diagonal lines there again this is how you frame things in the diagonal line in this figure in the background is being played there it's also being played out right at this point as well it's following the path of the arm and this is even being played out at that point you have a few more lines being played out where this diagonal meets this vertical here. There's your horizontal for that in the background. And then this vertical, I believe, is coming right about that point. In that area there, then you got it's framed in in the bottom at that point. So you can see, again, I took this a little bit further today because I just wanted to show what you could do with it. But you also have this area at the bottom being framed in two with these vertical divisions there at that point where these diagonal lines intersect. So again, you can see how the artist is framing in but also using the diagonal lines. Continue that to that point and continue it to this point, right? It's being played out there. And of course, you're framing in the bottom of the frame at this point. And these are all played out too, by the way. Like These divisions are calculated as well at that point. 
all of this is calculated in. Visual structure, that's really what it is. And that's what makes a masterpiece. That's the difference between understanding design and not. When you randomly place things, you're, you're, you're not getting the visual harmony. You're not getting visual divisions. You're not getting harmonic divisions. You're not getting any coincidences and all the stuff that, you know, Myron Barnstone talks about in some of his DVDs and what I read about in Aristides' books. So it really is important to understand as much as you can about design when you're either drawing, painting, or photography. It really doesn't matter. It's all the same idea. But thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, as always.